Hey everyone, welcome back to Anxiety Art Adventures. My name is Laura. And today I am going to do an unboxing of a star or diamond painting kit that I have waited for for right around a month. Um, this one is not on Amazon. I actually went to Star Or's website um, and I'll have that link down below where you can go and check out um, some of uh, the diamond painting kits that are not on Amazon but are on um, Star Wars website. So this one really is unique and attracted, you know, me to it just because I haven't really seen anything like it. Um, so anyway, we're going to get into this. So how is everybody this lovely, lovely, uh, Thursday? Oh, I guess you want to know what it is. <laughs> um, okay. So this is called Luna Moth. And I don't know if you can see that, but that is the schematic. Isn't that pretty? It's a 46 by 47 centimeter. Oh my gosh. How cool is that? Yeah. Um, yeah, so this one I had to wait for a little while. There were some shipping delays <clears throat> since um, it came from Hong Kong. And... Um, I'm not going to forget this this time. It came from Hong Kong, so there was a little bit of a, a delay on that. No big deal. Okay, so with every star or diamond painting kit, you get a um, legend. It looks like that. And this one has your DMC code. It has the they now they count it's they have the diamonds you need and the diamonds you have so they always give you more diamonds than what you need um so that's actually pretty cool so anyway i use this as my checklist for all the diamonds okay and this is nice okay so star or provides you with these um they're not parchment paper, but they're, you know, opaque white sheets of paper um, to cover up your diamond painting if you want to take the plastic off. So these are, these are actually nice. I haven't used these yet, but I've seen a lot of people use them. So um, the reason I don't use them is I like to see the painting, um, but it is nice that they provide these for you. Um, so those can be helpful if you have like a... Um, diamond painting that has that huge sheet of white paper on it and you want to put it in sections, you can use that. Okay, these are all the drills. And I love, love, love Star Wars kits. Okay, so with a Star Wars kit, you got, whoops, you get a white boat, you get a spacer, and then you get two um, multi-placers. Uh, this one is a four. Ooh, a four. I love fours. And a seven. So that is what you got um, in the kit for, you know, little accessories. I love the wax they send you. This is great for multi-placers. And I have not found anywhere else... Um, that gives you these in long sheets like this. If anybody knows of a company that that provides you with wax in long sheets like this for my multi-placer, please let me know in the comments below. Because I love that wax. All right, you get a drill pen with a squishy. The only thing I don't like about this drill pen is it has a plastic tip. Um, I don't like plastic tips because the plastic tips wear down quickly for me. Now I'm heavy handed, so I move drills around, I push them into place. So the end of the plastic tip gets very worn very quickly for me. And on top of that, patty wax does not work very well in a plastic tip and I use patty wax every day. So, um, all you got to do is just take this tip out and replace it with a metal tip and you're good to go. Um, 
you get my favorite tweezers. Oh my gosh, these tweezers are fantastic. They are branded, they are metal, and they are round. Rounded, they are not sharp. These are my favorite tweezers of all time. So kudos to Star Or for the round tweezers. Now, these bags are the bomb. Um, I actually bought a ton of these bags on Amazon just because I adore them. So these bags have white blocks on them that you can write on. Uh, yes, please. Because you can either mark through, write it again. You can reuse these bags. I mean, you can reuse other bags too, but I just like that you have the writing field on the bags. So, And they always provide enough bags for how many colors you have which is great. So really like their kits. Um, the only thing I would suggest and do differently is to um, do a diamond painting pen with a metal tip or to have the option, like include one with a metal tip and then have a plastic tip down in the bag. Cause I know Star Wars sells plastic tips. I've gotten them from Star Wars before. And that's another cool thing about Star Wars. If you go to Amazon, and you look up Star Or, um, they sell all kinds of DP accessories, like my big boat that I have, the, they have the tweezers, you know, the nice tweezers you can buy. Um, they have plastic tips, they have spacers, and I like their spacers because they're the thin, they're the thinner, the thinner spacers. So, uh, you probably can't tell that, and my camera isn't going to focus, is it? No. Okay, so yeah, these spacers are fabulous. All right, so that's their kit. Okay, I'm gonna the legend. All right, and these are all the drills. We'll go over that in a minute. Okay, so this canvas is not very big, which is also good. Isn't that pretty? It's a Luna Moth. I saw this and was like, this is just really different. Um, I have not seen anything quite like that. Um, so yeah, and it's got what it is up here. Sorry for the glare. Up here on the right, Luna Ma. Of course, you've got your star or here. You have a legend. You have a legend over here on the left that gives you your symbol and your DMC code. And then down on the bottom, and you can't see that, down on the bottom there is a checklist. So on the checklist you have your DMC code, package of drills for that DMC code, how many packages of drills you have, and the quantity. So that's really nice. That's really nice. I mean, not that we're going to be sitting here counting drills. I don't think we're going to do that, but um, yeah, I know I'm not going to do that. That is a little bright for me. Let me turn that down. Okay. Um, this is a poured glue canvas, and you know that because of the plastic cover. Very sticky. Let's see if I can show you the drill field. Very, very clear. Can you guys see that? Is it gonna focus? Probably not. That's okay. But yeah, I love Star Or canvases. They're just super sticky. Um, their symbols are nice. Um, it's fabulous. So I waited a long time for <laughs> for this one. Um, but I'm I really like. The smaller, um, you know, the smaller diamond painting kits because I have so many large kits right now. It's it's obscene, and every time I look at them, I'm like, mm, I just don't want to do a big one. So um, I only have about mm, three colors left on Astral Guardian to do, and I'll finish that one today. And I'll do a post review of that uh, from Craftably. And then I'm going to start on the White Tiger from Diamond Art Club. 
And that's a partial. If you don't like crinkling, just fast forward. All right, let me know in the comments below if any of you have this diamond painting from Star Wars. I just, I think it's just beautiful. Beautiful. I mean, it's a Luna mod. Look how, you know, it'd be really cool is to get the glow in the dark, um, the glow in the dark um, drills to do. Oh my gosh. Wouldn't that be cool? That'd be really cool. And then have it hanging up like in your bedroom at night and it glows. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Drills. We're going to go through all the drills because everybody says they, they like when I do that. Okay. All right. All right. I'm going to have to zoom in. Hold on. Let's zoom in a tad. Let's see if my camera goes haywire. Okay. So we've got, it's gonna be hard to see these because they put this gray box on them. All right, so that's 436. It's like a caramel color. Um, 435, which is right around the same color. Uh, 415, which is a gray. 414, which is another gray. 400, like a brown. Uh, 822, which is like a kind of a taupey, taupey color. Uh, 334, blue. Uh, there is 3371, 820, 318. 814, that's a real pretty dark, like maroon red, I like that color. Uh, 311, 938, 797, 300. Okay, now this one is an AB. This is your 5200 AB, and honestly, I did not know it had an AB. Well, awesome. So 5200 is J. Okay, so the AB is going to go anywhere there is white. That is all the AB right there. Awesome. That'll look good. But I still like the glow in the dark idea. I think that would be fun. Okay, 898, 780, it's like a, another brown. 154, it's like a purpley, purpley brown. Uh, 3799, uh, 842, 642, and 317. Interestingly enough, did y'all see a 310? I didn't see a 310. So they're using other colors instead of 310. So let's see. All right, what is E? E is 311. So what did I say 311 was? Let's see here, 311. No, oh, come on. Mm. Am I missing 311? Wait a minute. 311. You're kidding me. There's no way I'm going to have enough of that. Yeah, that's not good. So that's all they gave me. 
just this little bit for anything that's down all of this, all of this. Yeah. What? That might be a problem. We'll have to see. I've never run out of a of a drill before on a canvas. So yeah. Boy oh boy. Yeah, I don't see how that little bag is gonna do pretty much the entire border around here. You're probably gonna need like at least a bag to a bag and a half. Hmm. Well, we're gonna have to see, but yeah, that that definitely makes me a little nervous. Just a little nervous, sure. But anyway, all good. We'll figure it out. So anyway, those are the drills. Okay, so hopefully I can do this one soon. Um, let me back back the camera back out because you know. Um, hopefully I can do this one soon. Um, <clears throat> I'm going to do the White Tiger from DAC next. Then I'm going to do, um, I'm going to try and finish Stand By Me from Star Wars. Then I want to do the X-Ray Kitty that I got from Amazon. And then I have a ton of Diamond Art Clubs that I, I need to finish. But um, in between the, the big diamond paintings, I definitely... I want to take a break and do some smaller ones. So um, the Stand By Me one isn't too big. The X-Ray Kitty isn't big. And this one isn't very big. So um, it, it just seems to be a lot of pressure for me. Uh, tell me if anybody else goes through this. Where you feel like you know you have this huge diamond painting and you're trying so hard to finish and finish and finish to get on to the next one. I just, I almost feel like it's like, do y'all ever get bored with working on the same diamond painting for like a month? <laughs> I don't know. Let me know in the comments below if I'm, if I'm the only one that feels that way or do other people feel that way? Um, yeah, cause I, I start to get bored with the, um, with the big ones. So anyway, so this is Star or Luna Moth. Isn't it pretty? I like it. I like it a lot. But again, I really don't see how I'm going to have enough 311 for that. That's, that's crazy. I hope, I hope I didn't like miss. No, I didn't miss any. They're all together. But that's all right. I can also look and see what I've got um, as far as extra drills go. Um, yeah. And then the other thing I can do is I can always replace that 311 with a 310. I mean, I could make all of that black. So I've got plenty of black. Oh, and these are round drills, by the way. I, I, I'm sure you saw that when we went through it, but I don't know if I said it was round or square. So, um, yeah. So anyway, that is Luna Moss. Hope you guys enjoyed that. If you have any questions, comments, concerns, please put them in the comments below. And I hope everybody has a fabulous, fabulous Thursday. Um, I'm getting new glasses, so yay. Um, I'll have to keep you posted on that, me going to the, to the eye doctor. But anyway, so yep, Luna Moth, Star Or, love this company uh, on my list of top four to buy from. So by all means, check out Star Wars website. If you just go, you know, Google Star Wars and go to the actual website, you'll have a better selection of diamond paintings uh, than what you get on Amazon. And they're, you know, same price range, $20, $25. So yeah. All right. I'll have all the links down below. If you're new, welcome to the channel and make sure that if you want to hit the subscribe button and ring the bell so you know whenever I uh, put up a video. Um, for those of you that are not new, thank you so much for watching and supporting my channel. I really appreciate it and I love all of you dearly and um, yeah, I just wanted to say thank you. So hope everybody has a lovely, lovely Thursday. Bye guys. 
Hey everyone, um, just wanted to put a correction in here. Um, I was looking at the wrong symbol over here when I looked at E. When Remember when I said I didn't think I was going to have enough um, drills? I was looking at the capital E, <laughs> not the lowercase E. So I have plenty of drills, so my mistake. I just wanted to let you all know that. I have plenty of drills to do this all this dark area in here. Um, I was looking at the wrong symbol, so just wanted to let you guys know that. My fault, my bad. Whoopsie. Thanks. Bye.